Hi, welcome to this Microsoft Excel tutorial for absolute beginners. Now once you click on Microsoft Excel, you should notice that you will now have a window similar to the one you're seeing here. Now you have a number of different templates you can choose from, but because we're just starting out with Microsoft Excel, we'll click on the option for blank workbook. Okay, so there are a few things we want to go through to get started. You should notice that you have a number of menu items here on your menu bar. And of course, uh, you should notice that you have additional options that are on your ribbon. Now, in your home ribbon, there are a number of options that you have that you'd want to make sure you know where to find. For example, formatting your font. You have your font grouping or section here. And also for alignment, number, and also styles. So these pretty much are what you'll be utilizing very often. And if we go over to the editing section, you will see an option for AutoSum. And if we click on this drop down arrow here, we'll notice there is a lot of other functions that we can use apart from some like average, count, max, min, and even more functions. Excel is all about functions, formulas, and numeric calculations, as well as creating charts uh, for your reports, etc. For creating charts, we can go to our insert menu option, and here, we have a number of different types of charts that we can create in Microsoft Excel. You have your column charts, you also have pie charts, and there are many other charts that you can insert here as well. Now, the other options are very similar, like page layout very similar to what you will see in Microsoft Word, uh, except formulas, which has a number of different options for different types of formulas and functions you can use in Excel. And here we have your F of X symbol, which indicates you can go ahead and insert a function using that option. and. Uh, we'll soon pretty much learn how to do that. And then in our data menu, we have a number of options here, but we'll be utilizing at most. Here we have a little uh, tip for us, and that is Excel giving you some additional option. So here we have the sort and filter option, and you can use this to order data whether in ascending or descending order, we'll talk about that in our uh, next videos to come. And um, we're going to go back to home sweet home here. Now, you can see we have a number of columns from A, B, C going all the way down. We also have a number of rows here. The columns are represented by the letters of the alphabet while your rows are represented by numeric values, counting numbers. So going all the way from 1 to I think 65,000 or something. Alright, so what we can do here is just to show you how to enter information. So we can look at, let's say, a simple calculation. We can probably start off with some test scores here. Uh, test number 1, test number 2, these are labels, and you can enter numeric values accordingly, say 90 and 80. And uh, you can do a number of things with these. Uh, you can add these values together, and uh, we can use our auto sum feature here to automatically do that. So if I should click on auto sum, you notice that automatically the application will assume that we want to find the sum of 90 and 80 and it will automatically 
get that in there, which would be 170. Usually this is not very applicable for test scores, so I'm going to go here, click on my drop-down list, and go to the option for average. And you know, notice that we have the average option included, our function included there. You can just press enter key, and now we have the average for those two test scores, which is 85. You can do quick formatting here, bold, italic, etc. And uh, you can apply that. Below your, below at the base of your window, you should notice that you have options for a number of sheets. Uh, currently, we have just one sheet. And if you want to increase that, there's a little plus icon here that says new sheet once you click on that you know notice that you have a new worksheet to work with and to get back to the next sheet you can just click on sheet number one and uh, we are back in our worksheet so we can do quick styling here for our labels if we go to the options for styles and uh, that's the style section and cell styles and we can apply headings or titles uh, to that. So I'm going to, just going to apply here, heading four, and uh, you now see that applied. And there are a number of other things that we can do, which I will share with you in a next video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe if this video helped you, and click on the like button.